winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 low. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here. <clears throat> Excuse me, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be working on my map again. Today what we're going to do is we're going to fix this field and fix the river. Um, so we're going to start off, I'm going to use a different water plane. I'm going to be using the one off of Big Valley Ranch. Um, so what we need to do is we need to go up to the town and find the river. Here it is. No, 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 that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Okay, so we're going to use this, but we're going to have to make it way smaller. So we're going to export the selection with files to my desktop to the file called River. And we're going to call it River. Alright, we're done with that. We can minimize that. We'll go to this River folder. And I want to take these and put them right in there. So, get rid of that. Edit this with Notepad++. Remove all of that. And bada bing, bada boom, away we go. Oops. Okay, so we can close the folder for Big Valley. Open up my map. Throw the river in there. File, import, models, and we want a river. Details, water planes. Okay, so I want to delete the big one. Whoops. Yes, I want to delete that one. And we're going to create a transform group, and we're going to call it river because this is going to take quite a few pieces okay we're just going to call this water because it takes up less room then okay so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fix this field quick and get that out of the way then we can focus on uh this river here. Okay, we need terrain detail, uncheck zero, and check six. And we're going to kind of go like, whoa. Here's what we're going to do we're going to go like this. There we go. That'll do it. Okay, now I'll throw some grass back in there. Okay, away we go. We can work on the water now. So we're going to start up here in this top corner. <clears throat> I'm going to throw this water plane right up to there. And right there I'll do it. Except we need to make it a whole lot smaller. So we're just going to go one by one by one. And we'll work our way from there. So maybe if we do two. Nope, that's too far. 1.2. About four. Okay, so 1.4, oh, we don't need Y. Okay, so maybe we do need to go 2. About 
three even. It is rather annoying to have to do it this way, but it is what it is, I guess. I'm just hoping that it does not, uh, man, I'm just hoping that it does not, uh, affect things like it did before, like showing up through and whatnot, because if it does that, it's going to be really annoying. I wish I could just do it in Blender make like a big plane and then throw a texture on it but unfortunately it did not want to work that way because that would be too easy so, I mean you can see the seam in it Let's see if we can try and adjust that a little bit okay so what coordinate are we changing here Five two uh, about five four. Perfect. He can't see a seam in that. Okay, so now we'll do some fine tuning on this one. Heck, I think that even nope, a little bit farther. Ooh, we're close. No more. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, I want to change my view, my clip distance to 300 as well. I actually know a whole lot more than that. Uh, let's go... 100, 1,000, let's go 10,000. Then I can see it for quite a ways. Let's see if we can actually see it from the PDA yeah, section. Yeah, doesn't look that nice, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, so let's try like 10 maybe. Holy crap, that's way too long. Maybe seven. Can I even go a little bit shorter? Let's try like 6.3. Might be perfect. Awesome. All right, now I get this perfect. Okay, so we know it's gonna be two. Whoa, did that just... Holy smokes, that snapped right into place just like that. Cool, okay. So let's try backing this down to like four. Four is not gonna be enough. So how about, okay, so we might have to do five here. We gotta go 5.815, that should do it. <clears throat> this is rather an annoying way to do things, but it's what's gotta happen, I guess.
So we're a little bit far over. Okay, a little bit farther. Perfect. Man, this water, I love this, how it's reflective like this. It's so much nicer. Wow, I can really shorten this one. Let's try 2.1. Okay, 2.25 maybe. There we go. That'll do it. This water texture is just so much nicer. This reflection, you know, the reflective part of it is what makes it that much nicer. farther let's try this heck I don't see a seam in there anymore looks good to me cool we're even gonna make it with that size awesome Yeah, this is definitely going to be a bit of a pain to do. And I am going to replace these other water planes as well. Because I'd like, I'd like to have the same water plane. Especially with it being that one. Because it's so much nicer. Like this one, you're seeing blue sky. You know, there's not always going to be that kind of sky right above it. So, I'd rather replace these two as well. And any further ones that I add as well will also be replaced. But I can tell you right now, we're not going to get this done in this video. This is going to take a long time to do. And so, I'm only doing the half hour today because I have to also record another video and then get this video uh, edited as well as uploaded and also get the uh, other video edited and uploaded. So, let's back that off just a little bit. Heck yeah, that looks great. But yeah, because uh, tomorrow, because I'm recording this here on Saturday, and um, tomorrow I have to be out of town for pretty much the whole day. So uh, I'm not going to be able to do anything tomorrow. So that's why I got to get everything done today. Um, but it's no big deal, I guess. Okay, so we're a little bit far over, so we'll just go 0 0.05 instead of 0 0.1. Oh, wow, we can actually even back off just a little bit more. Heck yeah, that looks awesome. I mean, even just in Giants Editor, this looks a whole lot better. And it'll look even nicer in-game, too, so... I mean, as long as it works better than the other river... then we won't have to change it. And it would definitely be nice to not have to do it this way. I could just have done it in Blender and made a nice, 
nice water plane, except that would have also taken, you know, a fair amount of time to, like, sit and squish everything in. But this is going to take even longer. Holy smokes. But I just, I couldn't get things to work that way, so... Sadly. <clears throat> A lot of just adjusting here. It may take a lot of work and a lot of time and be annoying, but I can guarantee this is all going to be worth it in the end. Holy smokes, it's still not completely lined up. Where is it? Yeah, it's good enough, I guess. I don't see a line, so... Yeah, there's no line, so... We're good, I guess. Holy smokes, that pretty much did it right there. Wow. I got it pretty well lined up by hand. Yeah, we're going to have to go with three here. When you get zoomed out, you can see all the lines in it, but I'm not going to be whoops, this far up in the air ever in the game. <laughs> That's a long ways to scroll to be able to fly up that high. A lot of fine tuning on this. And holy smokes, this one's going to be long. Now we're getting to where some of these pieces are going to be straight in there almost, so. It would be nice. I wish there was like a different way. I guess I probably could have like angled the pieces and had them going that way, but no, that'd really be a huge pain. Because then like you'd have to have everything even, all these edges or all the corners and stuff. That'd be a mess. 
Yeah, I'm definitely not doing it that way. Maybe I can shorten this up a little bit. That'll work. So this next piece is going to have to really be long. Hmm, heck, I wonder if I'm not going to have to make this piece extra long to... Yeah. That's not far from the surface. oof -da. Oh, well. We'll just have to see what happens, I guess. If I go in, I guess, you know, the w biggest thing is I just have to go in game and I have to drop everything a little ways. What's that? Where did you come from? Workshop equipment. What the world? How did that thing escape? Okay, so we got covered. Guess those ones they forgot to put, or that one they forgot to put in there. Well, that's an interesting find. But as I was saying, like, if worse comes to worse, ooh. Um. You know, just have to drop the river down a little bit. And if that's what has to happen, that's what'll happen. Guess I forgot about this. It's always a funny thing. You'll be doing something else and then find something that you missed and be like, oh, whoops. Gotta go fix that. But yeah, like if, if I have to drop this stuff down to like here or something, I guess that'd be fine. Okay, so is this covering up here too? No, so I have to make this, whoops, not that big. Just get this thing to line up and uh, I gotta go a little bit bigger. I think we're gonna have to go two point one on this. There we go. Now we got it. That's an extremely large piece. Thankfully, the next one will not be this big. But ooh, ooh, ooh. 
We got an issue there. You know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and drop everything a little bit. Let's go 118 on everything. So, like, if I, you know, do this entire river and find out I need to move it down a little more, I will just select the entire river transform group and move it down that way. I won't sit and move every single piece. But because I'm just moving a few pieces, you know, or quite a few, I guess, but, um, you know, just with moving these, I'm not going to do it that way. I need to get some guardrails for on here as well. Throw a little grass on the side because it's kind of huge. And kind of adjust this. Kind of make, make this seem like more straight. Because that's, that's kind of awful. What, what are we doing? Time. Okay, so we'll just we'll make our way over to here. And then that's where we'll stop. Whether that's 30 minutes or not, that's where we'll stop. Um. That's good enough. Okay, so then we're going to bring this down to like 3. Heck, we can bring it down a whole lot more even. This stuff isn't like something that, you know, I could just sit and duplicate and move it over far enough and then, you know, do that all the way down and then go back because like with some of these areas, it's going to have to stretch a little wider and it's just going to be a big pain in the butt. If only it were going to be that easy. Oh, not eight. One. Holy smokes. Point eight five. No, more like whoops. Point nine. Point nine five maybe. There we go, that works. I also need to throw a culvert on this road here, a nice big one. Which, did I actually get a culvert? No. Okay, so I'll have to do that. Get a nice big culvert and throw it in there. Make it pretty much this entire size. It's going to have to be massive. Okay, so we're going to make this a little bit wider. Just because I want it to stretch underneath of the road a little bit. Just so that way I don't need to uh, 
do anything with it. Now we can make this a little bit smaller here. All right, there we go. There's a little bit of it. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the next one going. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.